In this session, we will talk about carry look ahead generators. Um, let's uh, talk about the problem first. So here you see that in a 4-bit ripple car carry binary adder that we discussed, in order to uh, add those numbers, like uh, example B3, B2, B1, B0, and A2, A3, A2, A1, A0, in order to make this uh, addition pa possible, so you need to have uh, this one uh, added together to produce the carry out and then this one added together to produce the carry out as you see from here right so in that sense this one is waiting for the previous one and the third one is waiting for the second one whatever okay suppose that you're making a 32 bit addition or something like this it means that they will be just waiting for their previous neighbor to finish their sum but if we can provide a mechanism for uh, making those carries readily available before then it would be very efficient so that we can uh, reach the sum directly uh, right here you have your full other structure here if you uh, I mean take a look at the what is happening here when you add two bits of uh, the the first bits or uh, the least significant bits of uh, two numbers here where this is your carry in this is the least significant bit and this is your carry in this is a generalized structure for full, full adder right you can have a carry out here namely c1 in this case in two scenarios either your uh, both a0 and b0 is one this time it will produce a carry out which is called carry generate the other one is you look at the carry if your uh, either one of them is uh, it is one zero one of them is one or and you also have a carry in here that's it these are the cases so you check this again like this and this one will generate another type of carry out so this one is called carry generate and this one is called either one of them is one is called carry propagate that is how you create your carry out and this is called your uh, sum out I mean uh, this is your s0 bit so it's your uh, sum out here uh, because it's uh, like you have here three of them exhort together that's it so uh, when you uh, when we take a, a look at this uh, and since we remember this our si is a i xor b i xor c i your input carry and your c i plus one is either a i b i plus or i mean not plus of course or a i xor b i and your uh, ci that's it and this is called carry generate which is called your gi and this is called your carry propagate pi that's the idea so you can write this again more in a more simple way like this your si is pi plus uh, XOR CI and your CI plus one is GI or PI CI this is the important thing that we need to keep in mind now let's take a look at what happens with our 
carries here okay your input carry is c0 right like uh, if you have for example a, a structure like this b1 zero oops zero a1 and a2 here this is your c0 in so the your c0 is your input carry and what about c1 it is generated from uh, this one right or it is originating from this one and how about your c2 here it's originating from this one and how about your carry out here it is originating from the these all together that's it that's the idea about the carries now let's try to figure out them so your c1 is i'm using this formula directly that's it because it's very convenient your uh, c1 is what g0 i'm just putting the indices here p0 c0 and what about your c2 it is g1 plus p1 c1 great but um is it possible to write this c1 in terms of these it's possible right so that's what we're going to do directly so it is equal to g1 plus i g0 0 g0 here see uh, so in fact this one is this one okay now uh, that looks uh, pretty all right and it will look like this g1 plus if you make the necessary uh, distribution uh, um, distributive property here p0 g p1 g0 plus p1 p0 g0 great and how about your c3 here namely uh, uh, here in in this sense it will be your c out right so it would be your uh, um, g2 plus not plus or of course p2 c2 which is your g2 plus this time instead of this you write this all right let's do this if we write this and make necessary uh, multiplication here uh, and, and end operation here you will uh, end up with this one and p2 p1 g0 plus p2 one zero g zero as you see we have our carry out here namely c3 and this is your c2 uh, like okay let me use another card this one is your c3 and this one is your c2 and this one is your c1 whatever okay uh, oops that, 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 that was a i think i i i i made a mistake here okay these ones of course to be c0, c0 right not g that should be c0 okay since this one is c0 this one is c0 and also this one should be c0 okay so good and this one also should be c0 uh, as well okay that's it now the thing is we have been able to get rid of 
all these C1, C2 and C3 by replacing them with only C2 here, C, C0 here you see look at this one is right here this one is right here and this one is right here that's all you need because you can have carry generate which is namely what your ch carry generate was uh, uh, you, you already have them directly because they are your inputs and pi again you can you can directly have it because it's already available the only problem was your ci's and we also represented them or presented them in, in by means of C0 here and that will help us uh, to, to create a, or devise a solution in this manner and the circuitry will uh, look like this for example if you do this for uh, three bits as we did before as we did here the, that's the idea about the uh, I mean uh, structure here as you see um, in fact this is exactly this uh, these uh, expressions here for the carries and what here he is let me pack this up I mean uh, if you put this in a box that would be your carry look ahead generator in this sense you see your carries are available here in this sense that's the idea okay so so i mean uh, you you will have your uh, numbers uh, like your p2 g2 p1 g1 and p0 z, uh, c0 uh, g0 entering here and your input carry is here and it will get your c1 c2 and c3 directly available in this manner so all you need to provide is those p2 g2 and p1 g1 and p0 g0 that's it and if you apply them as well in your with your catalogue generator structure here if you put this box right here so your so your four bit error with carry look at generator this one was three bits but i'm taking these uh, figures from our textbook so this one is for four bit input so it is exactly the uh, i mean uh, does what our original ripple carry error, binary error does here in fact you see here is your binary local carry it makes the addition but it does not have a carry look ahead generator here but but uh, this one that we just introduced here oops not uh, not this one uh, okay this one this one that we just introduced here realizes this directly i mean as you see these digits are not waiting for each other at the moment so this is your uh, this are these are your propagates carry propagates and these are your carry generates here right here and this is your input carry and what you have here will be those uh, sums that uh, we will be dealing with and uh, that's it and you pack this um you will have again a four bit number here and another four bit number here and your input carry here c n and you will have your okay uh, a3 a2 a1 a0 b3 b2 b1 b0 and what you will have here as sum out s0 s1 s2 s oops and s3 here see and you will also have a carry out bit here as well namely this one okay so you can consider that all of these are packed together in a uh, box here and it will it works uh, 
in a much more efficient way, faster way. Uh, and this is named as a four bit error with query look ahead generator. Okay, thanks for uh, your.